Hold up. Hold up. Hey. Hey, 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 man. Hold on. Let me turn my game down, man. It's too loud, man. It's a little too loud. It's a little too loud. It's a little too loud. It's big, baby. Boy, that sound dumb loud, boy. What that game at? Turn that down a little bit more, boy. I'm talking too loud. Oh my God! It is big, mother, mother, boy. It, it is big, baby. And I'm in this thing, man. It's big, baby. AKA Black Rap. It's Big Baby the God. Big Baby. Brum Brum. It's Hoodie Big Baby and I ain't got my hoodie on. Mask on. Mask off. Good God Almighty, that's a pretty lady looking. Oh, boy. I'm looking at my Snapchat right now and I'm looking at the lady. I'm like, oh my God, she's a beautiful. She just like my Chevy. Just like. She just like my. Boy, I ain't even got no Chevy, but boy, if I had one, it would look like her. Look, God Almighty. But anyways, 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 anyways. The NBA season has started. LeBron James has won his first game. Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. You wanted your own team. Well, yeah, but you didn't want to win, huh? You left the best player to ever do it. I ain't going to say great, but the best player to ever do it. You left him. To go to Boston, one of the best basketball cities ever. I can't knock you for that. Yes, I can, because you let the best player to ever do it, and now you about to screw it up. You, you know, big bro, 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 I don't call myself Big Baby Kyrie, never that, because I ain't nobody's uncle. I, I actually am somebody's uncle, but no, I, you, you get what I'm getting at. I, big Baby Bro, bro, the GOAT, Big Baby the GOAT, the best to ever do it. Do it, do it, do it. Ah, okay. Kyrie, how do you leave that? You left them. High and dry. Relentless. High and dry. And now you don't want us ready to cry. Because LeBron is good, man. They won today. They didn't look great. LeBron ain't played all preseason. He had one preseason game where he was hurt. Man, you know, things happen. It's going to take a little time to get that chemistry right. IT. Isaiah Thomas. The smallest man to ever do it right. Ooh, we. He wasn't that a day. It's okay. He won't be there for a while, but it's going to be all right because Cleveland is going to get wild. But anyway, yeah, uh, Kyrie, you, you love a good thing. Uh, you ever know it's like to leave a good thing, Kyrie? You ever know what it's like to leave a relationship a little bit early? You ever know what it's like to dump a chick and uh, because she pissed you off, but she was putting you in the best place that you ever have been in your life. If you haven't ever felt the Kyrie, boy, you should be feeling it now, because, boy, that's what you did when you left Bron Bron. But, game one, Cleveland Cavaliers, they won that thing. They had a big lead. They let it go. They slowed down. I don't know what the hell happened. Till it came back. Jason Tatum is for real, like I told y'all a long time ago. Surprisingly, Jason Brown is for real, which I would have never told y'all because I never watched him, and his shorts real short. Kyrie, you tried too hard to beat your old team, and you couldn't do it because you wouldn't make it nothing. But, oh, we Game one NBA basketball, man. The Cleveland Cavaliers, they for real. They are the East. They are the Eastern Conference. I'm not saying they're gonna be the first seed. I'm not gonna say they're gonna walk through the conference in the regular season flawlessly. But I will tell you this: they are the best team in the conference. Because when it comes down to it, Kyrie is a hell of a closer. Well, let me tell you what he closed today. 
He closed the door on Boston Celtics getting any type of mental edge over the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let me tell you that. Here's why. Because it was a close game. Gordon Haywood broke his ankle. Man, RIP to Gordon. Not really RIP. RIP this season. I really hope he gets back, gets better. Like, uh, I, 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 I hate to see injuries on anybody. But in spite of all that, there were injuries in this game. And the Celtics still had a chance. And guess what? Kyrie, you couldn't do it. Why? I don't know why you couldn't do it. Maybe because you don't have the best player in the world. The best player in the world. The go. Bro, bro. Two, three. Strive for greatness. Savage mode. LeBron James on your team. It's Kyrie and the Misfits. He's on the island of Misfit toys with all them raggedy-ass Celtics. And guess what? Ain't no Christmas, bitch. Ain't nobody picking y'all up. Y'all gonna go back to that island for a year, or two, or three, or four, or until LeBron decides to leave the Eastern Conference or retires. And that's just, that's just what it is. So they got me. Braun played his... Oh, man, man, man. Braun, bro. Bro, bro. Brody. Why you have to do him like that, big dog? You really gave Kyrie the work. Only thing I really wish would have happened was LeBron James would have got would have, would have, would have dunked on Kyrie and like, hey yo, little man. You ain't hit yet. You ain't ready. But in return, he still had a heck of a game. LeBron James, his stat line was 29 points, 16 rebounds. And nine assists. He shot 12 for 19. He didn't shoot well from the three. He shot one for five from three. So his four to five, uh, four to seven shots he missed came from three. All, that's all you need to know. Just give it a little. Just, just give it a little while. It takes some time. LeBron gonna be shooting the threes. Kyrie, you was pressing. You was working hard. You was trying to beat the Cavs, but you can't beat the Cavs because you're not a Cavs no more. You're not a warrior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't beat the Cavs. You're a Celtic. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Let me tell you one more time. Kyrie, but y'all ain't ready. But anyways, 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 anyways. It was a great game. It came down to the last minute. LeBron made some clutch buckets, some clutch passes. Kyrie had the opportunity to tie the game at the end. With a clutch three, and guess what he did? Him missed. Why? Because he ain't got the Midas touch. He ain't got the gold touch. He ain't the heir apparent no more. He didn't have the magic juju from the king. And the crazy thing is, after the game, Kyrie gave all of his old teammates the same dap ups they had last year. Kyrie, boy, you about to hit the same thing that Katie hit, man. You about to miss home. E.T. told y'all, there's no place like home. No E.T. phone home. E.T. phone home. Kyrie phone home. Kyrie, your phone home is Cleveland, boy. Then, oh, man, you know. Kyrie probably got done with the game. He was tapping his feet like Dorsey. There's no place like home, Cleveland. There's no place like home, Cleveland. There's no place like home. God dang, I miss Cleveland because, man, I'm tired of getting beat, man. But guess what, Kyrie? You want to be the man, so you are the man, and that's what happens. Oh, oh, oh. Then the next game happens. Steph Curry, you know how I feel about you, boy. I got words for you. I ain't going to put it on the pod today. I'll put it on the snap. F you. That way. The long way. The only way. And I was so happy you got beat today. Shout out to the Houston Rockets. They were down. They fought, they fought back. They get beat up, but they got right. E.G. Eric Gordon, my MVP of the game. Sixth man of the year. The best man off the bench. Boy, you was booking it. You was getting buckets. You was dunking on them boys. Boy, you played a, a hell of a basketball game. Eric Gordon, yes, you did. Good job, EG. Good job, EG. Kenny! Kenny! Kevin Durant. Kevin Ducant. Kevin. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. You, you, you did the best you could, man. But your best wasn't good enough. 
You hit the buzzer beater, but man, the buzzer was already beat when you put it up, man. That's so sad. It's unfortunate. It's heartbreaking. Y'all would have won the game, but guess what? They waved it off, KD. You lost. So here's what I'm going to say. Everybody thinks the Warriors are indestructible. Uh, they're not. Everybody thought Boston was going to battle Cleveland. They ain't. And they can't, especially since they lost Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward, get back soon, man. Don't wish them bad on you. But I got to be objective when I talk about these teams. Cleveland Cavaliers is the best team in the East, and they will challenge the Warriors in the West. The Warriors, boy, these, man, man, oh, my God. When they were at their best, they looked so good. Great ball movement. Open man takes the wide open three and splash. Straight cash, homie. Money, 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 money. Money. That's what I saw in that game. But I saw that Golden State struggles with a dominant point guard. And no matter how many points they score, Stephen Curry cannot guard a dominant point guard. And the addition of Chris Chris Paul to to Houston along with James Harden. Is is James gonna go off every night? No. Is Chris Paul gonna struggle every night? Hell no. But what I will tell you is when they're playing against the best team in their conference, Steph gotta play some defense. And Steph can't play no defense. Not against no James Harden. I mean, nobody can play defense against James Harden. But Steph's defense against, against James Harden was atrocious. It was terrible. It was an abomination. It was god awful. Boy, James Harden trumped him every time he had the ball in Steph Curry's face. So you say who's the best point guard in the league? I don't know. But James Harden went in Steph Curry's neck. And guess what? Steph! Mr. Bad Fade, Mr. Nappy Head, you lost. But let me tell you, Steph Curry got the worst fade in the game. His barber should be fired, 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 removed, barber license restricted, taken away. He got to go. Because Steph, I can always see the lines in your fade. If I can see the lines in your fade, boy, it, it, it didn't get faded. Boy, you, you, you look faded, but you ain't faded. But again, what do I know? I am just a big Baby. And you know what? I'm not going to bash Jeff Curry today. I'm not going to bash the Warriors, even though the Warriors lost. Yeah. Keep losing Warriors. When they're at their best, That some of the best basketball I've ever seen in my life. But again, what do I know? I'm just a big motherfucking baby. Big baby out.